Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon. Oh, I'm not moving. I pressed the wrong button, but welcome back to Pokemon Diamond Randomized and Nuzlocke. Last time, we made it to a turn -up. We kind of got a new team to rock with. And in all honesty, I'm really looking forward to this. Let's do a quick uh, team recap. We got Liu Kang, the Hitmonlee. We're forewarned. Special attack is awful. Special defense is pretty great though. Double kick, meditate, rolling kick, and jump kick. Our sort of can't you rock into Twisted Spoon with Swift, Disable, Barrier, and Confusion. The Mewtwo, of course, with the ability that no one ever wants to mention again. Devora with Suction Cups holding the Lax Incense. Sleep Powder, Gust, Poison Powder, and Confusion. Caged a Babero holding a Quick Claw with Tackle, Rollout, Water Gun, and Rock Smash with Shadow Tag. Raiden with an OP ability for 7 levels with Levitate. So I can throw this guy in just about every situation we run into today. Because he has Charge, Bite, Spark, and Roar. And Cetrion holding a King's Rock. It's a Sea King with Peck, Horn Attack, Waterfalls, and Supersonic. So I have to do the fossil stuff once we beat this gym. So the idea is we're going to beat the gym today. And then we are taking on Team Galactic again. So, I'm going to go stock up on any healing items that I may require. Okay, I have plenty of super potions. I'll get some more regular potions. And is there anything I can sell? Sure, I'll sell the heat rock. I'm not going to use it. Because I don't have a fire type. So, we are taking our Gardenia, and we are going to win. And once we get cut, um, we can go to the old chateau and get an encounter there. See if there's one that's worth our time. So they changed this gym in Platinum to that weird clock thingy. You just gotta find the trainers. The first trainer will always be at the left side, and you take her on. So we have Liu Kang up front to try to get him a couple levels. He's got a lot of offensive power. And our first test is against an Aggron. I think we can handle this. Just one kick should do it, Liu Kang. You know it's got hit, but I don't know if it's faster than you. So let's go for double kick just for the double hit. Okay. So we are faster than, than an Aggron. Oof. That was close. Yeah, our physical defense with Liu Kang is actually not that great either. So our idea is to most hopefully go first all the time. In fact, I might give Liu Kang the, um, the Quick Claw. Let's just try to make sure we definitely go first. And you're about to send out Deli Bird. Thankfully, we got Raiden. We have an Electric type, and you don't. I still think having Levitate on this thing is slightly OP. Because without Electric, what type are we weak to? None that I can think of off the top of my head. And you are dead. It was nice knowing you, Daddy Bird. Get that level up! Yay! We win! What kind of voice is this? I don't know. I've been doing that voice in particular more often. Uh, especially on my stream side of things. So, hopefully that does not last long. Let's just use our berry juice. Just because I have it. So now the next one is by two boulders. So that means they're all the way down here. So by going down here, the two boulders he's referencing are these two. And then you go over here and then you fight this chick. I doubt you have grass type Pokemon. If you do, I have Devora. <laughs> That's the best thing I got for grass types. Nidoran female, eh? Let's see how we do against this thing. I may try out a uh, rolling kick just to see how, how it does. Rolling kick! But it's neutral damage. But we got a crit though. 
Nice job, Liu Kang. Hit Ron Lee, serving its purpose. Shellgon, I don't have any ice types. I guess I'll just throw in Kenshi. I just hope Confusion one shots in. We are seven levels above it, so it more than likely would have anyway. Altaria. Um, I think we can send in Raiden against it. Okay, if only I had Thunder. That would make this a whole lot better. Hey, we get the paralysis off anyway. Let's go, Raiden. You don't mess with the God of Thunder. And about the next trade in the middle of three trees. So with the three trees, now we gotta go to the other side, because over here are only two trees. So the three tree woman is right over here. You just go hop it a bop, and there she is. All right, we're doing good so far. We have one close call with an Agron. And now we have an Espeon, which we can't hit. Hmm. I'm thinking we might just send out Cage, because Cage can take hits. Not very well, apparently. All right, I gotta switch again. To Kenshi. Swift. Because it doesn't miss. Phone, why are you going off? Let me check my phone. Nothing important. Thought it was important. Beside four flowers. So that's just basically straight up north from here. That's where you find the last one. And let's give Cage a little bit of that. So I think we'll put the Vora up front against whatever we have. Whatever she has to see if we can get like a poison powder or something off. If we get lucky and it's a grass type, then hooray for us, right? Okay, here we go. What do we got, Jonathan? Polytoed. That is w pure water, so let's just switch. Because our special defense. Actually, our special defense is good, it's our special attack that's awful. Can you not do that? It has Vault Absorb. Okay, you little bitch. Why would you put me to sleep? You are a dick. Why would you use Parish Song? You are a dick. See if we wake up. Now we both have to switch. Um, why would you leave the Polytoad in with Parish Song? I don't get you. Oh, that was your only Pokemon, that's why. So, we're about to take on the Gym Leader. We have one Mon asleep. That's what I needed. Thankfully, I have a freaking Gesto Berry. What's that, Trion? Stop napping! And let's just use our regular potions. Alright, so I think we, we should put Devorah up front, but I think Liu Kang can probably one shot a lot of different things, especially if it's a rock type. So, that'll be our game plan. Let's just hope it's something that Liu Kang can one-shot. Alright, Gardenia, what do you got? You kept me waiting. I'm turning this gym leader, Gardenia, the grass-type master. Oh, are you now? Well, let's just see how much of a grass-type master you are then. As we're going to annihilate you and get our second badge. Seeking, batting, more than likely we'll have Peck. If I were to make a prediction. Oh, that is not fair. There we go. Screw you. Alright, what's next? Fine go. It might self-destruct, so who is our bulkiest mine? 
26, 48, 25, 29. Looks like it's Kenshi. Because I feel like this thing's going to self-destruct turn one, and I'm going to hate it if it does that. Not like it mattered. We're down to one Pokemon left. Weavile. That's part dark. But it's also part ice. And we have two good moves on our on cage here. So let's rock smash it first. And we just have to rock smash it again. Because we got that defense drop. Yay! This gym was easier than expected. Because cage is clutch. No one tell me otherwise. And now we can replace a move. We can upgrade tackle the headbutt. That equals more power for us. We defeated a manager. That was an interesting team for her to have, though. Pineco, Weavile, and CK. But now that we got the forest badge, we get a TM. Gunk shot. Ooh. Well, we need a poison type. Now more than ever. Can I teach Cut to anyone besides Cage? I know Cut stab with Cage. I have to teach Cage Cut. I'm pissed. Because I like Headbutt. I don't want to get a rollout. Because rollout's been very good for us. So we have one encounter we can get. And I want to get that encounter before we take on Team Galactic. Just to see if it's something that I think would be better for the team. Than what we currently have. I'm also going to get a Repel. This way we can, we can just go into the Leo Ghetto and get all the items from there. I'm going to take five of these. And we're just going to hope for the best. Because who knows what we'll get. So... This place is typically haunted, and you normally would get Rotom uh, once you get the National Dex here. Excuse me. But, since we do not have the National De Dex technically in the game, I don't think we can get Rotom. So, we can ignore every encounter in this forest as we make our way up to the old Gateau Mansion. And there's an item right over there. Let's start this item game off right, though, and give the Bora a free level. Level 18. Supersonic. Actually, I'm not going to teach you Supersonic. Supersonic's not that great. Alright, so, let's get this item. Quick powder. Okay. Not bad. That's a sign of things to come, I think. And the next gen will be in Veilstone City. That's going to be exciting. So, let's see where our encounter is. Come on, something good! Fuck. Water types. That's all I have to say, is fuck water types. But hey, I gotta get it, oh boy. Give me the Omastar. Yay! We caught it, yay. Why do I even want this thing? We're calling you Tremor. Tremor was sent to the box. You can stay there for all I care. Now there's a few items we can get while we're here. So let's use our repels and go get them. And we can sell the quick powder once we get to the store. Because fuck using that. I don't have, I'm not going to get a ditto. Ooh, we got the dread plate. Yo, that's, that's good. 
we need a, I think, dread plates for ghost types, so we just need a ghost type. Now, I don't think there's any item in here. I'm trying to do it based off my memory. So we're going to search every one of these rooms. Hello there. Timer ball, that's not bad at all. The longer we let an encounter go, the higher the chances are. Oh, I have to sneeze. Hachoo! I apologize. Oy. So that's the TV you would interact with if you got the National Dex for Rotom. Nothing in these beds. There's an item right over there. Let's see and hope it's a good one. Overheat? I mean, we need a fire type now more than ever. I'll be honest, when I was a kid, this place really gave me the crease the first time I walked in here. I didn't even know you could walk in here until a friend of mine told me about it. So I decided to check it out for myself, and I was scared. Like, legitimately. I was a little kid, and I was scared of this. There we go. We got another wave incense. Okay. That's not bad. We can sell one of them. There's one more floor to go. I'm still kind of terrified of this. Well, not anymore. When I was a kid, I was utterly horrified. Now that we've gotten all that done, back to a turn we go. So I don't think we can go down here yet, can we? Oh no, we can't. Let's get the EXP share. That'll be great whenever we have to train someone up. Like, if we get a teammate that is particularly useful, but for the team we have right now, for the time being, we have a well-balanced team, all things considered. We have a well-balanced team. I'm trying to think, is there a type that is going to make me worry a lot? Um, not that I can think of. It's just legendaries are going to give us a hard time because, you know, they're legendaries. Even if we have a Mewtwo, it's just like, why wouldn't we even bother? There's an item over here I can grab. Detect? Okay, that's not bad. So we got our first double battle up here. I'm going to throw out Lu Kang and Cetrion because we haven't used Cetrion that much in today's episode. Now you could battle these guys one at a time, but I'm taking them both on at the same time because screw it. Cresselia and Houndour. Okay. There's a psychic type immediately. So we'll swap out Lou. For I guess Kenshi? And then Water Pulse, the Hound Hour. Because that thing's gonna be dead anyway. Assuming Cetrion's powerful enough to take it down. Let's go, Cetrion. Nice! Nice! Papu Beep, you are dead. And Kenshi is not level 21. Confusion on Kenshi? Yep. You thought I was gonna leave in my Hitmonlee, you fool! Grumpy. That thing is gonna be bulky as hell, but I think we'll go for Swift. And then... Water Pulse again on... Cresselia. Huh. 
That's a decent amount of damage. Okay. These two are just very bulky mons. Psybeam. And Confusion. They're double team in Cetrion, but Cetrion is bulky. Uh, let's try uh, Water Pulse and Grump Pink this time. See if we do have any luck with that. And we do! Nice job, Cetrion. Oh, you're going for double team? Well, good thing I have that. And Swift doesn't miss you, bitch. I'm keeping Swift for a long while. Cetrion level 18, let's go. And your last Pokemon is Nidoran. Well, the Cresselia was a little bit worrisome, but we're okay. And we get a crit, even though we didn't need it. Let's go. First one's down. So, all these guys are optional. So you don't have to take them on. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna let them be. But we'll take on all the people up here. Ooh, Shedinja, that is... Bug and Ghost. So, we're gonna throw Devora in there. And hit it with Gust. There we go. You wanna learn Brick Break? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we'll replace a uh, Rolling Kick with Brick Break. Gligar. Um... I'll just throw Kenshi in and just hit it with Confusion. Just get rid of it. Manaphy. That's a water legendary, but we got Raiden. So suck this. Even though we're like 12 levels above that thing. Let's get it. And let's do some quick healing. There you go, Cetrion. Alright, we have the scientist boy over here. Do, 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 do. Our mission to, is to implement our operations without question. Well, I'm going to question you because of your terrible fashion sense. It's awful. I hate it. Why do you, why do you wear the things you do? Beat oof! Well, good thing I got a fighting type. You should have let the thing evolve into a barrel at least. Oh, that's right, you have Intimidate on that thing. So not like it mattered. Down you go. Give me my petty experience points. I deserve it. All right, here we go. We're gonna fight the boss lady. And then get our bike. And the next episode we'll take on Cycling Road and all that fun stuff. Cause I'm, cause I gotta do the I still gotta do the thing to get fossils. Did you want something? How so me to even ask? You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Bring it on! What's the most dangerous thing you've got, huh? Ha! Huh? What do you got for me? Feebass. Alright then. What's the worst that thing is gonna do to me? Tackle. Of course. Eat kicks to the face. Bicycle kicks for the win. That thing's gonna become a Milo tick though, and that's gonna be slightly scary. Let's go. Your next Pokemon is Gardevoir. Hmm, impressive indeed. But I can one up you with Raiden, a God of Thunder. And you nearly get one shot by him. Stop double teaming. Raiden has tired of that nonsense.
And just like that, we beat the Stacy. Yay! Aren't you tough? It's okay though, our official Pokemon Statue investigation is finished. Okay, bye! So we got his Pokemon back. Yay! Now we can get our bike. So let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and call it an episode. Since we got a decent amount of progress done despite it being a shorter episode, we did pretty good all things considered today. We got our second badge of the day. We caught an Alma Star. And we took down Team Galactic. Thank you folks for watching, and I will see you all later.